All right. I'm going to say hi to YouTube. Okay. Buenos Nachos YouTube. Welcome to Witching Hours. Uh, if, you were, if you happen to be watching live, yeah, we're a little late to start, uh, mainly because I had to do a lot of ranting about my <laughs> about my uh, medical stuff. But that's that, that was pre-show stuff, um, and that's beside the point. But we're here. Uh, we're here to do our regular Witcher stream where I go through the world of the Witcher, particularly through the world of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Um, but I'm not doing it alone. No, no, I'm not alone. I'm here with my guide, my coach, my uh, my sensei, uh, my sensing, uh Daisy. Daisy Sam, how you doing? Daisy. I'm doing great. Happy 420. Blaze it. <laughs> I wish I had oh, like I don't a have... bong noise uh, rips, uh, bong rip sound effects. <laughs> a weird slurpy noise, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. There you go. There you uh, go. There you go. I'm going to just find one on the internet. There you go. Uh, uh, Do it. Uh, let's see. Find it off of YouTube. Uh, yo, happy 420. Okay. I did like one of those tiny, crappy ground firework fountains. Yeah. <laughs> I was like very poppy. Yeah. It wasn't as like snorkely as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, no. Uh, that's great. All right, let me see. Let me uh, let me try <laughs> freesound.org. I love, the, I love the title of tonight's show, though. This is great. Yes. <laughs> uh, Blaze through another dank adventure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's see. What? Oh, more bongs. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like Wait, bongs. Uh, is it bongs. Bong. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, freesound.org. Hey, if you need sound effects for your. There you go. There we go. There you go. That's it. That's it. There That's you go. it. Uh, oh but, my gosh. All right. Now that we had our, you know. Or uh, humor out of the way. Uh, we're <laughs> we're do the Witcher. We're we're excited. We're we we got more things to do. Um, if I, if I we'll uh, we'll hop in there and try to remember what we're what we're doing. But uh, you know we had some some stuff we wanted to get started on. Uh, we last time we we did the whole Undvik uh story. Yeah. There's a logical follow up to that that it addresses. Um mm -hmm. Oh damn, this isn't plugged in. Why is my controller not plugged in? <laughs> I'm lucky it didn't accidentally turn on my Xbox. <laughs> Hungry, terrified, <laughs> clutching your babes to your breasts. Alright. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. I think, like, right after your stream ends tonight, Dr. Foxmeat will probably start streaming. Nice. The Wizard and the Recliner. Last year he had an amazing 420 show. And yet you do not plead. Wife was making him, like, really weird drinks. Yeah. She had like Mountain Dew and like Fago mixed together, and then she put like frosting around the I outside and stuck like Skittles to it. <laughs> it was horribly great. Sounds wonderful. Oh yeah. Why is my controller? Uh oh. Your oh, there, battery's okay. freaking there you out. Go. Uh, it's. I don't know what was happening there. Uh, all right. 
Let's go over to gameplay. Charles and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in. Oh, we were finishing up. Find her at the Emperor's command, and we were also stops. trying to like brew some stuff, and uh, we needed to like run and get stuff to do more. I think hey, we're here hanging out with Tomera, who rudely does not have a fast travel point outside of her house. Completely inconsiderate of her. To not accommodate me. But luckily, I only have to walk this way. There you go. Um, what do I need to do? I need to get booze. Oh, wait, this is. Finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Siri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by uh, he said tomorrow is uh, when we're doing the final recording of the drama. Where to? Ooh, okay. I, not know. I, I even ordered a patient gown off of Amazon. <laughs> so be, because my hey. character has also been admitted with the virus. So, <laughs> so I thought it would work well with that. Um, that was fun. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 God damn it. <laughs> Trying to make him drop his shit. Come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> drop your shit. Welcome. Welcome. He's good. <laughs> what have you got there? He's good. Too good. Holy crap. What can I? What crap can I sell him? Okay. Ooh, a, a shell. I can sell seashells by the seashore. Here's some flowers. Little peep. Blunt pickaxe. Also, these goddamn nails that I got for no good goddamn reason. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't the need guy. those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy dude. That's right. Um. Okay. But he does not have the booze. I, I think it's the other guy that has the booze. The, so the herbalist here. Oh. Oh. You gotta fall over. <laughs> Where's the fire breather? Where the fuck with his day? I made him drop him! Look at him! I made him drop it! Oh, he has another one. Haha. <laughs> 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 Alright, join that. Banger of a song. I love it. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? What have you got there? Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have booze. I'm trying to remember. Somebody had booze here. I know that's what the big thing we needed was booze. Uh, I'm trying to remember why. Okay. 
Because we need, we could just make one more albedo. Albedo. Oh, yeah. We could, um, we can get superior elemental oil. And then I just need a white gull. But for a white gull, I need Verdanian Herbal and Mart Mandrake Cordial. Okay. So long. Okay, I think it was from an, was another guy around here. I think it was over here. Travel? I think it's one of these guys. Naked. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, there you go. I forced it. <laughs> I pressed A enough times and it worked. Show me your wares. Okay, yes. Mandrake Cordial. Only one, please. And. Oh, shit. Okay, Mandrake Cordial. Oh, Redanian Herbal. He does not have. Oh, crap. Who has Redanian Herbal? You find. <laughs> You should do me a favor finding out who has some Rodanian herbal around. <laughs> see, let's see what the wiki, so what the fandom wiki says. Uh, uh, who has Rodanian herbal? Yeah. What is, um, mm, didn't the, uh, the lady in my orchard, the herbalist, have like a shitload of it? Maybe? I'm almost certain she did. Maybe. Herbal. Let me see if anyone in, in Novigrad has it. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, Why don't this. they say where these people are? Here's a guy at the alchemy. At the alchemy what? Oh, Show they just they have the names of some of the shops, so they don't say where they're located until I click into it, which oh, okay. is yeah. super annoying. <laughs> A center of Novigrad. The Kingfisher Inn is the oh. largest tavern in Novigrad. I oh, know yeah, the Kingfisher. I know where it is. I, I know. It's like right nearby. Okay. Northeast corner of Hierarch Square. Yeah. Center sure, of yeah. the big city. Yeah. That yeah. I know where to find. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, I was cleaning up my email a little bit, and yeah. it was like, oh, you got a, a comment on a YouTube video, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and I keep forgetting. 14 years ago, I posted this clip from the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance game. Yeah. And it's like where a harpsichord plays. Yeah. And like once a year, like once every few years, I'll get a comment where someone's like, I was looking for this. Like, thank you for posting it. And it's like the worst potato quality ever. Nice. But someone just said, uh, I know this is years old, but I was looking for this for a D&D &D game. I cleaned up the audio a little using software I use for things like getting rid of background noise. Super happy to have found this music. The really cool thing is the person who wrote the song actually commented on this 12 years ago. Because nice. <laughs> I looked him up and it was like, what? Nice. Like, no way. Yeah. It's great. That's awesome. So that was so long. that was pretty cool. All right, let's, let's go to go to ah. the pub. <laughs> Enjoying running into people too much. Causing chaos and mayhem wherever I wherever I go. The Witcher way. I'm gonna be of service. What are you serving today? Ah, there it is. Okay, perfect. I'm standing at my desk, walking in place to try to get more steps in. Nice. See you later. My chair is pushed behind me, and I keep feeling something touch my butt, <laughs> and I turn around and it's Nugget on the chair, just like. Putting his palm in my butt. <laughs> Dude, no, stop. Stop. It's awkward. <laughs> uh, like a whole nugget. He's so sweet. You know, his handsy. He's so sweet. He is. Oh, yeah, my Kirby bag ship. Sweet. Nice. So I used 
I use my Nintendo Platinum points to get a Kirby foldable, reusable shopping bag thing. So nice. Yeah. Hmm. We have so nice. all space. Yeah. How gonna be of service? What are you serving today? Okay, no, you don't sell all spice. What? What, what are you serving today? Let's see here. This is water. Just buy some water. And a dumpling. Yeah. Ooh. All right. See you later. Okay. My wife's mum's an old succubus. Great mother. Yeah. Old <laughs> yeah, Nugget is just like too adorable for his own oh good. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Totally. Uh, today, while I was working, I'll tell you in a sec. Okay. What have you got there? Misty's up on my desk, yeah. curled up in her bed, napping. You know, what she does all day. Yeah. Nugget gets on the desk just like sits there and stares at her it's like oh no this is gonna happen <laughs> so starts to crawl into the bed with her puts his <laughs> arm around her neck and i'm like is he gonna play or is he gonna cuddle but didn't get the opportunity because she did like the slow wake up and kind of like uh, what's happening notice it was him and was like <laughs> wadded at him <laughs> he was very confused and then he just kind of like stood back and then just stared at her like he was very sad and confused, which uh, made me sad. Yeah. Yeah. Little nugget. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I just need these specific mutagens. But he's super sweet because every night I get into bed, it's like he knows. Yeah. And he just jumps into bed and immediately crawls mm -hmm. under the covers with me. Nice. Oh my god, I've never had a cat <laughs> do that. Oh my god. Yeah. Too sweet. So long. Like I said last time, I, I it just really... I, I wish I had a cuddly kitty. <laughs> yeah. So much, One so day, nice. it'll happen. Yeah. I mainly... I, I, I mean, right now, it, I need to, you know... I need to sort out my life. No, I need to have a space that I don't have as... <laughs> cluttered or as cramped uh as i do now um yeah it'll be a lot better for for having a cat there so someday maybe when uh when squiggles finally buys that compound in colorado well we can start our plans for our <laughs> Uh, where oh, we got yeah. our, our RV park. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been looking. It's a. I, I, I have I mentioned that I've been on a like a van life slash schoolie slash uh, conversion uh, YouTube no. hole lately. <laughs> like, no, tell me more. It's just it, for some. So there was um, uh, and I I was watching uh this show because one of the things that I watch a lot of uh, even on YouTube because it'll feed me there. Is just um, British shows, uh, UK shows, and like mostly like House of Games, the Richard Osman House of Games, um, and sometimes I'll go into like you know I love QI when I have you know episode new episodes up, um, and and things like that, and like uh, you know I, I watch quite a bit of eight out, eight out of ten cats because that's fun, uh, and for uh -huh. some reason I got caught up and they recommended me. Uh, Susan, uh, Susan Coleman's, uh, well, one, one was Secret Scotland, Secret Scotland, which is nice. It was just okay. her, like, showing off, uh, really, like, out of the way, fun places of Scotland. Uh, and uh, the other one was Susan Coleman's Grand Day Out, which is her driving around a camper van that she calls Helen Mirren, uh, which is adorable. And it's like this old antique camper van. It was like okay. I ended up like looking up like oh that's interesting like just a, a van that you, like you can camp out and like sleep in and whatnot and I started looking that stuff up and you know of course when you Google something the algorithm is like hey stuff we can feed you 
Uh, and right. I started feeding me like camper van conversions and like, I was like, oh, this is interesting. And like how, and you start watching video after video and start picking up stuff. It's like seeing more and more stuff like, oh, oh, you know, like about like, you know, the solar panels that they use and like stuff like talk about their fresh water tanks and their gray water tanks and like, uh, their, the, the like power setup. So like a lot of them will have like solar panels on the roof that go into uh inverters that feed into battery arrays and then that you know powers the house and then they have like or like a full so, like i saw somebody that had just like a full refrigerator they got from home depot that was just like a regular refrigerator uh or they'll have like some like uh some uh some like other like 12 volt uh refrigerators and things like that and like uh the particular fans that they use it's just this is fascinating i was like this is cool <laughs> and like and like huh. and we were talking about it uh one i think we were talking about it in the slack it's like you know if, if color if you know the, the colorado compound ever happens we're gonna probably end up you know if, hey if you if you see like a random rv <laughs> or outside <laughs> of your you know in your compound just don't, don't worry about it yeah just don't, don't worry about it just, yeah. that'd be fun yeah uh, That'd be super fun. I'd actually the one thing if I were to do that, I'd probably do a, a school bus. I don't. I have to see what I would need as far as being able to drive it around. But I'd probably do a. I guess they they call it a schoolie. It's like the cool name. Oh. Enough. Okay. The school bus conversion and there's, there's been some like you get a lot of space in there and and there's been some like what you can do with those. You can have like a. A full size bed in the back, or even like a queen size bed in the back. We have full, you know, shower. Uh, you know, you know, figure out things like toilet situations and like couches. And this guy had it set up where he had like, um, uh, well, he had an RV, but like he, you know, he set up a nice big screen TV. He had the the disappearing big screen TV and his like a setup. It's like oh the one's like just on a riser and just in the furniture so you had to like mm-hmm. pull on screen ctv one of the early ones i saw was somebody had a like a is somebody that does uh actual like a has a full gaming desk set up in there and okay. he's like game streams uh it was, it was wild uh, oh, oh my gosh! Sorry, he touched my butt again. He just <laughs> he, he ran away for a while, and all of a sudden he was back, and like I don't even see him. Yeah, let me see what this quest oh is. Such a strange little cat. Oh my gosh! I cannot imagine oh. <laughs> Jump the fence. Oh, he's nomming on the strings of my drug rug. <laughs> 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 I started a 420 meme war on Slack at work nice. today, so that was fun. Yeah. Nice. I posted the uh, high elf meme that I posted on Discord this morning nice. <laughs> to get yeah. it started. That yeah. was well appreciated. Oh, uh, it's always fun. I, I, I look forward to being able to a work at a place where I can uh, get into meme competitions. <laughs> It's interesting. Sometimes I still have to step back and it's like, what? <laughs> this is allowed? This is fun. <laughs> oh, wait. But hey, the, the president yeah. of the company tells us like almost every week, like, have fun at work. It's important. <laughs> love yeah, guy, love what you do every day. Like, okay. Think I'm in love. Okay. Oh, yeah, the, I was like, I was, well, came to check this place out. <laughs> the Rosemary and Time. But you can control what you do with it. I know. I know which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Priscilla. Let me know when you find and decide. Okay. This guy hanging on to the post. He's not having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there, dude. What was that about? <laughs> she spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. <laughs> save it. <laughs> Why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. 
exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. Yeah. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help a little friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zaracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. A long time ago, that. <laughs> Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Dandelion. Fine. Tell me <laughs> the what you want. The quintessential horny bard. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting, but with a touch of help from you. I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Daryl, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, man, Newman left me a gift last time. All right. He never gave me nothing but floppy diddly. Don't know. What's he schemed up this time? <laughs> Oh, dandelion. Cabaret, how are you? <laughs> oh. I'm cutting the old family. Black ones killed me son, lost me wife to dysentery. You've got to bury your loved ones at least. I don't even know where mine are. We're fleeing the fighting. Pitched camp in the woods. Took a sling, went out to hunt down some stuff. Oh, I can't You see in the dark, I'm just stopping. I can find woods in the forest. Oh! Oh! I'm much better. God, let even you into the city. Ah, nothing hurts. The best stock in all Novigrad. <laughs> no need to push, enough for all comers. To push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. <laughs> Ooh, a new person. Let me have a look. Oh. Well, you add stuff. Cool. Okay. Hey, hey, Petey. Yeah. What, what do you get when you eat marijuana? What? A pot belly. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh, so bad. Uh, let me, let me, let me consult, uh, the humor. Oh, yes. Alexa, tell me a marijuana joke. Not you. Ah, dang it. Aww. Wrong one. Oh, that was terrible. She made a blunt joke. <laughs> It wasn't even the, the, the echo in front of me. It was the, the fire TV cube. <laughs> yeah, like I could barely hear it, but I still heard her say, yeah. to be blunt. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you a joke about that. Sorry to be blunt. Alexa, tell me a marijuana joke. Wait. What? Any day oh. now, Alexa. Oh, uh, uh, I, oh, sorry, I had uh, the wrong input. Uh, there you go. No. 
Alexa, tell me a marijuana joke. I'm not going to tell you a joke about that. Sorry to be blunt. Oh, there you got a better. Alexa, tell me a marijuana joke. I'm not going to tell you a joke She's about that. She's got one joke. Oh. Sorry to be blunt. What? She's like a transphobe. A She's got... Alexa, tell uh, me a weed her... joke. What did the lawn say to the weed? <laughs> You're starting to grow on me. <laughs> All right. I mean, oh, what did I expect? Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, Google, tell me a marijuana joke. I don't know, but I found these results on search. Well, screw you. Hey Google, tell me a weed joke. What's a pig's favorite karate move? A pork chop. <laughs> she heard. She heard weird joke. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> all right. Oh, fine. Oh. Uh, hey They're Petey, what does the mermaid smoke? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seaweed. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. uh, all right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. This guy. Ah. Ooh, there's a bunch I'll of dead people there. Let's get a list of weed jokes. Some right. of these are just awful. Some of them make no sense to me. Yeah. It's like, what? I must be out of the loop on some of this. That looks like weed up there on the roof of that, but it wasn't. Jump on these horses. Ooh. What? No one either slaughtered a flyer farted. Oh, I was wondering where these what these dead bodies were. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay, okay. This is what Squiggles would like. Why couldn't the lifeguard save the hippie? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he was too far out, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was great. That was great. Alright, which way? Okay, there you go. This way. So strange. What is a stoner's favorite dream? What? Like, getting so getting so high, he can eat a star. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> How do sharks get high? <laughs> On reefer. Oh no. So <laughs> good. Uh. Oh, I can I can talk I can ask about doo doo. You and doo doo know each other well. Yes, <laughs> though he's never told me much about himself. Doo doo. He was a merchant once. Mm -hmm. Doo doo always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Blunt sword. Eh, eh, we got a blunt sword. Eh, eh, eh. That's good. I wonder if, uh, wonder how quickly anybody watching this will catch on that neither one of us are big weed smokers.
I've thought about it. I thought about like, like especially for even just medis med medicinal uh, weed, for anxiety, and things like that. It's wonderful. But, uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, they might might ask my shrink. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because the thing, because it's it's legal for. Is it legal for recreational use in Florida? I gotta double check. I think it might be, you might oh, have to Google oh. that. <laughs> yeah. I know it is for me, uh, medicinal purposes. Yeah. <laughs> Florida is. Uh, I don't know if it you is. know this about Florida. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man. Um, legal for medical, but not recreational. Yeah. So yeah, you would have to get a script from a the doctor. Yeah. Okay, there you go. It's after dusk. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. <laughs> Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. <laughs> You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here. And your mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble. Flash oh my god, sorry. Wings. The cat just jumped on my back. <laughs> Bow before the that's prince a, That's of a new one. <laughs> what? Not so fast. Uh, dude. Drop your sword, oh, okay. scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion. Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. <laughs> no, not the Crimson Avenger. <laughs> Silence, vermin. <laughs> You shall regret the day you were born. Dandy, I, I mean, Crimson ah. uh, You're better than I thought. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! <laughs> This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? <laughs> I wonder if I, if I was supposed to get beat up. There's probably like a two options for that. Hmm. Probably gonna get an earful from him, like, why'd you beat me up? <laughs> <laughs> I think you, I don't know, I feel like I did it the same way. Yeah. Why are people I yelling? Beating him up. Oh, okay. I was like, why are people yelling? I was like, oh, okay, bad guys over here. Hey, bad guys. What? Lost your nerve?
<laughs> that guy has no head. Okay. Mage's fault. Super sister for those fuckers. What's he doing here? What's it to you? <laughs> Ponce. Strumpet. <laughs> Alright, let me go into the dandelion. This is all time. <laughs> Bless you. Black ones, the Danians. <laughs> he never gave me nothing but floppy, did he? He don't know how to give you floppy diddly. Saying I'm no good at giving. F floppy diddly. <laughs> there you are, then. Uh, let me, okay. Let me put this away. Um, let me actually... That didn't weigh anything. Let's throw in. Ah, what the hell? Why does it bounce all the way to the top? And every time I. Every time I finish a line, it bounces all the way to the top. Okay, let me... Alright, we just get a bit of all this. Just for clarity, inventory's sake. Griffin armor. Okay. Blunt sword. <laughs> I thought it, it replaced my. You... Apparently, it oh. replaced it in my inventory. Is that why it was taking so long to kill those level nine bandits? Maybe. <laughs> I was using a blunt sword. I was like, "What the?" <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, well, there you go. That answers that. Okay. I don't still managed to cut one of their heads off, so you know there's that. Yeah, with a blunt sword, damn. That must have been unpleasant. Um Okay.
explore the rooms upstairs. Kind of booze. Oh, there you bye. go. Ooh, there's a ramp with this dust. something I normally reach for. Yeah. Plums are good. I, 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 yeah, I, I feel like I haven't had a nice plum in a while. Yeah. I just want to take advantage of the fact that we have a papaya tree now. Oh. Yeah. We have a papaya, papaya tree in the backyard now. It's giving us some nice, some nice, some nice papayas. Nice. Like already it is? Uh yeah, we've had it for a little while. Yeah, cool. Exciting. <sighs> Miss, you can have your bed back. There you go. I'd say like the the backyard has felt way more alive now that now that uh, Clementine is here most of the time. Oh yeah. So she's out there playing and like goofing around, and she has her swing set out there, and she has her little like the swing has a there's like a swing set that has like a trampoline on it, like a little oh, like yeah, yeah. small trampoline on it. And yeah. like she has her slides, and she has her original like little tank slide set that she she still like loves to play on, and, and it just is it's fun to just like goof around with her back there, you just watch yeah. her run around and. Be I all bet crazy. that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> There's a script. <laughs> okay. okay. Who's coming in the door? <laughs> Who is it? Here? Weird. Oh, wait, it's this door. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought somebody was coming in the other door. So I didn't realize that door was being opened up when I walked by it. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna meditate on this balcony. Yeah, the there you go. Nugget has way too much energy. Yeah. <laughs> all, almost all the time. Yeah. His favorite place to sleep during the day is the chair behind my computer in yeah. my office here. And it's a purple. Because it's got this like uh, gray and white and black fur cushion that I made for it. Yeah. And he just kind of blends into it. There's been a misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. You're here too early. <laughs> We agreed to oh, yes, I have to post into so the cuteness overload. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We 
will start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? What are the choices? What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gavin, you've known him longer. Say something. Okay. There we um, go. Should I? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe leave it up to her. There you go. Yeah, it's like you decide. Sure, yeah, I've known yeah. him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage. And Cabaret is a form of theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. Yeah. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Okay, oh, well. Misty. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. <laughs> Ever since Dandelion inherited yeah. this place, he's talked she about it She was constantly. walking on the edge of my desk. I, I almost never fell off. Him to <laughs> take action. That was that was a bad so time. <laughs> Who knows? Might even settle down now. Nope. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Talking about the same dandelion, man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. <laughs> She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Uh oh. Mm. <sighs> Let's go find Dandelion again. <laughs> Always you have to find, find him. <laughs> oh, That's wait. right. Uh, wait. Do I go this way or that way? <laughs> the map can't decide which way I'm supposed to go. As long as I play. You know, if it wasn't for the poverty, the disease, and the looming uh, threat of death, uh, I'd definitely live in a place like this. <laughs> this place is, for all, beyond all that, it's a cool place to like live. Yeah. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so oh. nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? <laughs> no idea. <clears throat> Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait, do we have to destroy her house? Hashtag nice guys. <laughs> I never took, I never took, uh, 
Never took him for a... How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's Bro. not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio. You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. All right, let's find Fine. the key. Let's find the key. Witcher senses. <clears throat> Damn it. Now where would she leave? Not here. This is... Okay. First thing we hear right away is some dude puking. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Gross. We really get into details with the puking sounds and the sneezing sounds. Uh, the key. The key. Oh, I found the key. Oh, I'm starting to talk to. Find anything? Yeah. Huh. Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! Yeah. I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut off, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. Alright, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open sortedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Right. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency <laughs> take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, <laughs> coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. <laughs> Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. <clears throat> I figure it was a good idea to trust Dandelion to... Bullshit his way yeah, through yeah. this. I never expected that to go so yeah. well. I'll All right. compliment him. I'll get well, crawled up my back to get on my desk. This is going to be a problem. In negotiation, <laughs> I hope this does not continue when he gets older. Is to find your uh, cool weak spot and not cool. To the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago. But Hubio came across the old version. <laughs> Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait Hank. artist? <laughs> Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards. I don't think to there'd be the a Hank in the <laughs> Seats won't fill themselves, yeah, right. you know. <laughs> Hank? I'm Dandelion. I'm Geralt. I'm Siri. <laughs> oh, and here's Hank. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Alright. All right. <laughs> I don't know why that pirate standing on a box caught my attention. <laughs> like, what? What are you doing? Like lording over my domain. <laughs> And a bard on a roof. A bard on a roof, oh my god. Rain like this would fetch a fortune in I wonder if he plays the fiddle. Cause then he'd be the fiddler on the roof. Alexa, tell me a Broadway joke. What did Alexander Hamilton say at last call? I'm not throwing away my shot. I guess you would have to know Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> things I'm glad I watched it so I know what all the hype was about I also don't get what all the hype was about yeah. like it was okay but I would never watch it again yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm enjoying seeing these little gaps in the universe Okay. Actually, I think this is just it. I'm just seeing the other side of the building. <clears throat> well, somebody made a mess. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is picked clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You deaf. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, you gotta use the fisticuffs. Uh, ow. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh. Oh, can you not use witcher signs? I don't know how you, but everything in this house is mine. Want to get something back? Try the Vagal Bud Estate. Oh, yeah. Rotlick's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of here. Okay. Are you gonna reload? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But finding me proved no simple That was on me. It was on, doesn't make sense story-wise for Geralt to get beat up by some two dudes. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts. A cell in the dungeon of the... It was just on me. I, I, I should have dodged a little bit more. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in... I probably could have used my Witcher Science. I just wasn't. ...cornered by the temple guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Got my eye on you. Cost you double in the rain. Cost you double in the rain. Okay. This is the gap. 
Okay. Au revoir. Oh. <laughs> that joke was just doing crazy things there. Looking for Rotlick. You ain't alone, damn up. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. Take what you want. You diff. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Oh, what? Why do you mean uh, uh, this action is not allowed during the, combat? Oh no, can you not use potions either? I was trying to de heal. But... Oh no! What? What the How heck? Much more Legos? Want to get something? Nah. Can you like? Can you like reload and then go back to Skellige or something and? Try to level up some more before you go back. I don't know. I, I think it's... They're level 11 dudes. There shouldn't be that tough. Yeah, I think it's just like with your... Uh, like being unarmed. But also like, well... Do you do the same amount of damage? I don't know. Unarmed? I, as you level up? I don't know. This I did not know. Okay, let's yeah. No loitering round here. White one, take a gander. Trouble. Oh, wait. The wrong turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Just save to save myself the schlep. Okay. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't a. Not enough. Take what you. You did. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. You regret this, you Ow. 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 I'm trying to eat, but I'm not allowed to do that during this combat. What the? Like why? I why can't you do it with this combat? You can like oh, all the why, other ones. Why? Knock them the fuck out. Damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal <laughs> Butter State. Losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. There you go. Alright. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> what? It's raining on the inside. I think your roof is leaking. Looks like it just a little bit. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm gonna step away for just a sec. Okay, Dougie. Be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Bagel Bud Estate. Which is out of town. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> I'm 
Yeah, this takes me to the... To the Vagelbud residence. Ooh, ooh. There's some horse racing to be had. Yeah. We gotta find this halfling that apparently owes everybody in Novigrad money. Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. <laughs> then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? <laughs> I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Alright. Just... Do that the easy way. <clears throat> Your harmony between jockey and steed. You think them a We were just liking a man and his horse and it's a, a pair of old lovers. <laughs> Alright then. Let's just walk away. <laughs> Man, there's so many things we still have yet to discover. Oh my gosh, yes. Just even just outside of Novigrad. Yeah, right. I have to start yeah, roaming around a little bit. Another drift of infantry. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. Accoutrements. Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad. 
but it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Rebranding. There you go. What about choreography? You prepared anything special for the opening? <laughs> we haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Guess everything's ready. It's like a Catholic mass. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home from my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. No, seriously, don't mention it. <laughs> Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? <laughs> she said you're fat and you smell. <laughs> she said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. <laughs> you're pulling my leg. Not this time. <laughs> I don't make you drink. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Ugh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? <laughs> Oh, it fades away because that's the load the next cuts the next mini cutscene. Like, oh, movies. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Ask the dandelion. Priscilla, she's What? Speak, man. She's badly uh been attacked. They they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's Hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Yeah. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? R relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Okay. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. Forget it, I Jake. Know it's I Novigrad town. I know I a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. 
No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morningstar, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat, I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. All right. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative <laughs> treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Uh, well, yeah, let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Hemelfart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You lead. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. Ooh. What's that about? Okay, so now suddenly we're in a, a skull quest. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. I was in a. It defaulted to a different quest. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, okay. Here. Oof. Uh, there is it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think it was like Evil's first. Soft first touches or something like that. Okay. Alright. Think. <laughs> Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Hey! Help! Help! Alright. Water hag. Oh no, no, the flaming throws at you. Be careful. Be difficult. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh snap. <laughs> I got Dougal water. Oh, he... Dougal. He's aggroing something over there. Mm, and water hag tooth. <clears throat> what do I want to need? I need a. I can just get a water hag mutagen. Then I'll have their decoction. Not that I use too many decoctions or potions, but. Yeah, like I said, I never really used many of them either. Yeah, I probably should start using some of them at least a little bit. Oh, Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be for a Trobrit. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Yeah. I'm guessing honey and tea are probably not going to be enough. <laughs> Do 
Take the ladder. All right, I will. Do, 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 this do. is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. <laughs> Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. This one. A dwarven woodcarver. That's gotta be him. But this one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Hell yeah. A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. This is the first one we in the build here? Like. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. <laughs> Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. <laughs> Where? Hmm. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. At due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why his throat scalded. Okay. Hey. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Ooh, ow. Not pleasant. Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed, so thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. <laughs> Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. <laughs> the murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Ooh. Ugh. Not pleasant at all. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. <coughs> See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. 
See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons. We've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. Alright. <clears throat> Might as well. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? <laughs> Only as the killer's potential motivation. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Due diligence. Alright. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Mm. Damn. What was this? It's repeated. There's a purpose to everything. You need me to look it up? No, I'm, or I'm are you thinking. Up I don't know, I'm just, I'm thinking. I'm trying to kind of think it out loud. Yeah. I think this is, I, my inclination is ritual murder. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets. Cavity where the heart should be. Scalding liquid. All centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? <laughs> Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square. Just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but... They're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. 
He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremation, conducts funeral masses on the <laughs> aisle, and it's so forth. Good. Mm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. All right. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. All right, then. Okay. First things first. Let's go to the alley where she was attacked. Find out what we can. Oh. Days. They're brained, all of them. Where was this? Okay, so this is find use as the corpse collector. Wood carver shop. Oh, here's. <clears throat> I'll go talk to him. Bring out your dad. Um, is it? Oh, there you are. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse, neither, as I recall. One of them. So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of the... Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Huh. Shame. Interesting. Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Piece off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you yeah. Yeah. Triflings, baubles, <laughs> low speeded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's oh. name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Uh. Yeah. Oh, wait, violent. Fucking hell. What was that for? For everything. <laughs> you yeah. lay there. Go to sleep. <laughs> Lay there, think about what you did. What you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lots of fuss over lots of rain. Nobody gonna talk about shit about Priscilla on my watch. That's right. Okay, alright, 
Let's look. Oh, interesting. A scent. Ooh. Uh, okay. Scent. Uh, I got it. How do I uh, examine it? There you go. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. All right, that's formaldehyde. A brazier. This time of year. Grab him! Cease. Dive. Oh, man. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Oh, uh, what? Gotta get around him! Ow. Okay, now I can eat. What the hell? Return to the scene of their crime. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Yeah. Hey, sex work is work. It's just... Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. Uh, you aware of that? Yeah. Oh, dear. Not, not of course safe. I was. This didn't start yesterday. Time and place for Others you. Others have for died right like now. this before. <laughs> Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. <clears throat> Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Whoa, the head's ringing. Awful pile. Oh, you scared. Uh, okay. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Human. Priscilla's. Okay. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Concerned citizen sermon. Uh, cast, remember good people. The light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape-shifting dopplers can hide from its light. Not even witches and sorceresses. 
so adept at fooling the common folk, no, not the loose women who walk the street and fog men's minds with their charms. Abandon then the treacherous and immoral magic arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts, and the eternal fire will expose you all monsters and sinners, or else burn you two in its flames. Concerned citizens. Concerned citizens. <laughs> All right then, sheesh. Laying it on a bit thick. Ran it ran this way, okay. Trail ends here. Strange, even I couldn't jump this wall. Huh. Okay. something to this but it okay. uh, what was that lamp that ex that showed I have that lamp right that shows uh yeah. Oh. It shows hidden components and all of that. Uh, let me, I think this is, uh, see here it goes. Yeah, I know, yeah, you end up using it again for at least one more quest. It's not used that much. Let's see. Uh... Ooh. It's a magic lamp. It's like a... It's like a thing... That sees, lets you see through illusions or something like that. Right? Did you look, at, look up what it's called? Just so I'm like... I don't feel like I'm being crazy. Yeah. I'm trying to think, um... Because, yeah, it's... I thought it was the third one shown in your quest items. No one lets you see ghosts. Uh, what was the other one you were looking for? I, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's something like... Something that lets you see... Through illusionary walls or something like that. Okay. Ah, sorry, the cat. Get off my back. <laughs> oh my god, what a weirdo. Oh, Nugget. Um... The Eye of Nehelini. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, I think that might be this. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, that was the thing that uh, K Kira? Yeah. Yeah, Kira okay, doesn't me let me... Okay, so I think it might be specifically specific to certain places. Okay. It's not an item I can use anywhere. Okay. All right. So I think it's just I'm supposed to know that. Ooh, weird! This guy ran directly at a wall. Watch it, Tran. No regrets, not your stomping ground. Uh -oh. God, the reapers come for me. <laughs> Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. All right, I'll be there ah. as soon as I can. Kitten, stop it. Just another victim. Why is your hair so grey, darling? I like it because you darling. <laughs> Is that shit faced? Okay, wait. Wait, okay. Do we have to go around the other way? Got my eye on you. Why does it tell me to go through this wall? Such lovely natural surroundings. Anyone home? Be gone! <laughs> or I'll sit me hounds on you. Molly! Strigger! Come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer. 
Looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much light down. Come on. Come on then. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. The better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. A bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Dust is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Just Meyer. Hmm. What would it be now? <laughs> Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head home to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know they could have folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wife best so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Yeah. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Yeah. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. All right. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. All right. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. More dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Again, another one of these. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna keep finding those. Hey, doggy. Can I pet? No, I can't pet. Okay, I still gotta examine more. So this all leads into here. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since, since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. And here we go. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a oh, few stains gosh. behind. Interesting. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian <sighs> used it. Yeah. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Okay. All right. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. 
He kicked some. That's where, yeah, he, that's what he kicked before he kicked. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, oh, I can't. Oh. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Oh, ugh. that's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Alright, let's go talk to the corner. I kind of got a weed proverb for you, PD. Nice. <laughs> Man who stand on toilet, high on pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. More of these. Hey, they're just lying around on the pot, on the ground. This post yes, of weed jokes also links to eye. crystal meth jokes. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome, Master Witcher. <sighs> to each your own. Here. Alexa, tell me a weed joke. Need some motivation to tame your overgrown yard? Just pretend you're battling, Sodzilla. Sodzilla. Oh Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off the autopsy until you arrived. Nice Alexa of you. misunderstands what I meant by weed. My previous <laughs> visit. Because you came <laughs> unannounced and in unfortunate company. Maybe I you have to say cannabis next time. To yeah. See what happens. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. <laughs> Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. <laughs> a senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. <laughs> Found this morning at his home on a catapult made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, yeah mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Ugh. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Yeesh. Yeesh. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer. 
the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Even went to her estate once with. Gotta find her now. All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and finish the. Ugh, I'm, I'm holding a. I'm holding a. Next time, master. I'm holding a letter made on human skin. Oh. What? Ugh. Oh, yeah, it's pretty nasty. <laughs> oh, wait. Why is your ass so great, Okay, we're going the right way. Uh, here, I'm gonna go back. Such a lovely natural strand. Oh, oh, wrong button. I press bun punch instead of jump. Oh no. <laughs> I don't remember punch anybody. those days. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can? Her life's in danger. Let me in, or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? I understand. This is serious business. Oh, Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not oh. pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. <laughs> in danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. I hope we made it in time. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Yep. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. <clears throat> we should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Um. Not important. There he is! Hey. Games! What not the me. heck? Oh, where did he go? Oh. Where, where? They're like Am I forcing to fight? you to fight these dudes. Yeah, apparently so. No, let me. Uh, oh. Chase him until the guards mistake you for the killer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery! 
Taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Uh, so I don't know. Too early to draw any conclusions. Since I didn't like the other ant telling the Ingrid, other answers you know, to this her. This is a hard time for you, but yeah. usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well, but you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I don't I blame do you. To remember her like that, and suck. Let her be the last victim, please. Poor gal. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's fast. I should give you a hug. We'll go to the fountain again. Alright. Uh, I like it when Geralt rolls down the stairs, yeah. like on accident. <laughs> yeah. smell that here. Come closer. Don't be shy. He has a very Talk sensitive nose. Yeah. That's true. Unless that was like another quest that they passed by. <laughs> Probably. Uh, um Is this a place? This is Okay, well, maybe that place. Okay. Another drift of infantry. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Uh, yeah, yeah. uh I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and disturb. <laughs> For the greater good. Oh, right, 
Oh, wait, up, okay. Okay. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturbed me. And I so dislike being Shut disturbed. Shut the fuck up. I was to play with sweet Nettie. Render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Try it, you bastard. Giving me no choice. Yay, made it quick. <sighs> All right. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I thought, okay. You're free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. Feeling a lot worse. <laughs> he asked if I did everything and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. This oh, is... God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. Yeah. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Ah. <sighs> Only senseless violence against sex workers were uh, a thing of fantasy. <laughs> yeah. So I will say in that choice, if you had taken the other choice, like were you going to talk to him? Yeah. You do like extend the quest a little bit longer, not much. There's like one more place to go and it reveals a little bit more information. Yeah. But you got more than twice the experience for killing him yeah and <laughs> instead at, of talking at that point i'm like i just did not care mm-hmm like, like i'm i honestly don't know which option i took i'm just looking at the yeah the walkthrough I'm like oh oh it's one of those choices yeah, I'm sure there's like uh, some interesting lore to it, but it's like, okay, no, like <laughs> you, you need to die. You a vulgar one. I can see it in your face. What, what if I told you that that guy wasn't the serial killer? Oh. <laughs> and that there's more to the story. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm eating a pretzel. I was gonna say, but it, that's like one thing I love about this game, though, is that it has well, outcomes well, like no, that. Free. Like, you yeah. never know. Oh, okay. You just kind of think you get pushed into one way or the other. Yeah. Look awfully suspicious to me, tramp. Misty's like the meme of that, that cat. Like, you know, when cats want to go outside, but yeah. then they don't want to go outside, but then they want to come right back in. Yeah. It's like her getting on and off my desk. Yeah. Like, she literally just got up here, now you want to get back down. But like, but you want it up here. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> oh. Pushed a guy out of the way. Fucking hey, <laughs> 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 Oh, 
They say another corpse is turned up. No eyes in its head, no heart in its bread. <coughs> East. How's better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Aww. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most <laughs> flattering comparison, but <laughs> encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Geralt? Sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Geralt? Found and killed the murderer. It was Nathaniel. Caught him red-handed at Kate's. He was just about to cut into his next oh, victim. Oh, it was Nathaniel. The keeper wanted to keep me out. Important customer, he said. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Mm. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission. You can't argue with them. <laughs> Hubert told me about your past. Even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. All right. Farewell. Okay, that's what it it defaulted to. That's what it was like freaking me out. <laughs> it was like when I saw that like skull, I was like, what is this like suddenly a way crazier <laughs> thing? <laughs> um okay. <laughs> okay. Is there anything I want to do? The Winch Hunters in front of Philippa's hideout. So, okay. do you want to know who the real murderer was? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. It was Hubert the Coroner. Oh. Reverend Nathaniel is just a sick pervert. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but it doesn't say that you can go back. Okay. Uh, 
like where was he in the sewers or some wherever the morgue was. Yeah. Um. Bum, 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 bum. He was a bloodthirsty, brutal, and murderous vampire. Ooh. Hiding a twisted and fanatical mind behind his never changing mask of eternal youth. Ooh, yeah. Oh. That's what you noted, like, he was super young. He was talking about the formaldehyde, right? That doesn't make sense. Mm hmm. Oh, well, I guess we won't know that part of the story. This is my oh, hubris. Oh, 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 If you go back, you'll find a confession note left on a table. Allowing oh. Geralt to learn the full story. Oh. Okay, if I go uh -huh. to the coroner's office? Yeah. Uh, Where it was. Or the, the morgue? The, the morgue. morgue. Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Where is the morgue? Cause uh So in the walkthrough it says like you go to the sewers, you know, fight the drowners and water hag. And then the next thing it just says at the morgue. Yeah. Do uh, does it say where the morgue is? So I can see if I can walk in the front door. Morg. One moment. Let me see what I can find. Eat another pretzel. Mm -hmm. Gildorf, just below the love. Love. Can't. I can't speak. Lavalet <laughs> residence. Um. Mm -mm. Let me see. Well, that's not a map. What the? Uh, uh. <laughs> I can find. It's like a Google Street Maps view picture. <laughs> like, that's not helpful. But but it's like of Novigrad, right? But yeah. like, I need a I need a map. Where is the morgue, Novigrad? It is located in the place where Gildorf and Silverton met. Is that helpful at all, PD? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Oh my god, it says you head to the morgue via the sewers. Okay, but that's but then, still then like after that, that you you head to the morgue through the front door. There's a front door. Okay. My god, this is horrible. Reddit. I should have just searched that. <laughs> Can someone please post a screenshot with the marker? No replies. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I'm making progress. I found a, a helpful, maybe helpful map. Mm. 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 Was not as helpful as I thought it was going to be. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah. Uh. Uh, yeah. Up by St. Gregory's Bridge? Uh, yeah. Oh, I think it's yeah. right here where I'm pointing at. There's something. Okay. But it's definitely somewhere in that area. Yeah. Just need to... Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I'm looking inside this window. Watching this kid fart. <laughs> Winds howling. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Wind's howling. That's wonderful. <laughs> Oi, Coca. Location just below the Lavellet residence. Which bitch, according Wind's to this howling, map. That's for sure. um, <laughs> this is perfect timing. Watching this good part. He goes, Wind's howling. <laughs> Okay. I definitely see it on the map. Okay. At least that little spot. Wait, am I going the right way? Let me see. Uh, okay. My husband's a supervisor. Oh yeah, you're super close. It's over here, so I think. Yeah, back here. Yeah. The building, I think I remember the building. This is it. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just here to oh, the book. to discru discuss the uh, what happened in the case with the uh, with the coroner. Just you know, mm -hmm. yeah, well, certainly not metagaming. Just you know, you know, I wanted to follow up with the with the yeah the coroner. You know, to let him know that the killer had been found. Obviously, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, okay. It's this dead this guy. It's a big place. There are a lot of dead bodies to deal with. Yeah. The horse whistler. I don't know that. I don't know why that first bookcase wasn't showing as lootable. It yeah. totally is. Yeah, let's see. I think it was just like. There you go. Okay. It uh. was a funny angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's gonna steal all of the stuff, because he <laughs> certainly doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> oh. Diary of a fire swallower. I think I'm, I'm <laughs> well, apparently I've read it before. Monstrum oh. or a portrayal of witchers? <laughs> okay, hmm. some mean stuff about witchers, okay. Apparently so. Finally, calm down. <laughs> so he stole Misty's bed up here with me. I don't know what happened to Misty. <laughs> yeah, the dead body <laughs> lying. <laughs> Set. Yeah. <laughs> dead body <laughs> lying around. Can I search anywhere? Is it a desk? Hmm. Know where his desk is? If you get extra books, you can sell them, yeah. by the way. Mm. <clears throat> Alright. 
Trying to figure out. Why is this desk? This place is huge. I was wondering if it's like the opposite way, like the place you just came in from. Yeah. If there was like a, a small um, set of steps that went up that wasn't on the map because it's a different level. Okay. Um, from here. From here? From here, go left. Yeah, go through that door. Oh, nope, wait. A... Yeah, that one. And then turn right. That's a front so, entrance. Oh, oh, oops, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it looked like it looked like a um, yeah, because like it an looped around. Room. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there is. Oh, let me. Am I going to the store? Yeah. I think I have. Well, this is weird. Table the and heck? the morgue. Okay. I'm trying to watch a video someone posted. I'm like, why is it seven minutes long? What the heck? Eventually you're gonna find it and be like, oh what? <laughs> it was right there. I'm I'm trying to see if I can find it on my just just in case. I'm just assuming that Witcher Sense will show it to me. It should. You'd think it would glow red since it's related to a quest or it's like a special item. Wait. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Found this area. There's. This is the alternative. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. It's. Wait, is that it? Yeah. Wait. Um. So keep going straight. Uh -huh. Wait. Yeah. I think that's is right. It says it's in the back right corner, straight ahead. So did you already pick it up then? Because really? yeah, I'm, I'm watching the video and it, there should be a note right there that you pick up. It's called Letter from Hubert Reek. That would suck if you're looking for it the whole time and you had it. <laughs> Yeah, it's so. weird. Letter from. No, don't. If you use like the left and right button to go to, like your, I want to say like the bestiary, um, books. Books. Okay. There you go. from Hubert. Hmm. Weird, I thought they showed them in the order that you got it, right? So yeah, it should have been at the top. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Alright. As far as, Google uh... D. As Letters far as uh, Geralt knows, he, he caught the killer. There you go. <laughs> Huzzah. Let me see. I'm not going to load it, but I wonder if there's a checkpoint before that. What's that? Oh. I see what that looks like on my own time. Yeah. Alright, so let's uh, let me just take a peek yeah, at this well. quest. Let's see what this is about. Oh, what the? <laughs> uh, oh, what the? Oh, what? Removed. Ember's oh, where the eyes should be. Mouth burned with formaldehyde. Familiar sight. And a letter. You sought a servant of the eternal fire, but you were blinded by its flame. Okay. Wasn't Nathaniel. Damn it. So this probably triggers the letter then. Because someone posted on an old forum that they found another body and then went back to the morgue and the letter was there. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, morgue. Damn it, I forget which way the morgue is. Uh. Wall, <laughs> yeah. turn around. Oh, it's still. Okay. Yeah, it's up towards the island thing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still. So, mark. Okay. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Okay, this way, okay. Witcher, since you are reading this letter, you have finally guessed who the murderer was. Only after finding my subtle hints, undoubtedly. But still, 
I congratulate you, and at the same time inform you that you will never have the pleasure of meeting me again. I long deluded myself into thinking I could wake the citizens of Novigrad from their slumber, make them aware of their corruption, and point them on the right path, that which leads to the eternal fire and the cleansing it provides. Yet, even though, as you all know, I stopped as, at nothing in my efforts, it appears they will not bring about the desired results. Novigrad's moral pox has spread too far and too deep. It is now incurable and fatal. Though many consider me a fanatic, even I realize further shock therapy of the kind I have been administering will be will do no good. I will thus depart for another smaller smaller settlement where the process of moral decay has just begun and where my intervention may yet stand as a chance of stopping it. Forgive me for not giving you the details of my itinerary, but I fear you will would try hard try to hinder my mission. My regards, Hubert Rejk, alias Concerned Citizen. So he's the one that was spreading the concerned citizen flyers around the town. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> choices, everybody. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of choices in life. All right. Let's talk to these witch hunters real quick before we wrap up for the evening. Okie dokie. Good fun. Mages have sent the hunters out. Oh, well, they with a line. Attracted a woman once. Long ago, I was willing to give me my hands. I'm a bit right. oh, oh, where, where am I going? <laughs> where am I going? Oh, we're going outside the city. Oh, okay. I was like, I, I thought it was in Novigrad. Um, Alright, let's see. Oh. Okay, never mind. Let's see, let's go. I guess to the. to Marion. Partisan hideout. That works, actually. Yeah, that's, okay, that's, that makes sense. <laughs> Do you have to work tomorrow? No, I got school. Oh, I'm okay. Um, oh, and so I keep meaning to like mention it to the group, but um, so the this uh, starting uh, uh, May 9th, I'm gonna have uh, uh, I'm working out for the schedule for school so that I'm gonna have uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings guaranteed to be available. Oh, so I worked it out so that I don't close on those days. Uh, basically, because I have uh, uh, my classes for the summer are going to be, well, uh, one of them for six weeks is going to be Monday, Wednesday, and the other one's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then, like, the fall, I had looked at the fall semesters, and they were exactly the same, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, so I set up uh, my availability at work uh, to be, I don't open I uh, basically uh, I'm not available to like three uh, on Mondays I don't work on Wednesdays and I don't clo I don't uh, work at, at any point past seven on Tuesday or Thursday oh nice okay so they just set that up for me so that uh, so like so I have that I have that set up now for, uh, for flexibility of other things, including you know, the Witcher stream or anything else that might need to be moved around. Or... Okay. I'll let the gang know. Good. So you said that's starting May night. Yeah. That's when the, the summer semester starts. Ah, okay. Slow now. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Nothing fucking but one plowing trouble after the other. But what's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Great. I'll take that now if you don't mind. Here, choke on it, you twit. <laughs> Cheers. The key to Philippa Alhart's hideout. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania. Then oh. tucked herself away here. What can I expect to find inside? Everything. Anything. It's an old elven temple, the witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at them. Fell into some magic trap, then monsters attacked them. <laughs> Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. The rest are probably dead. Alright. Bye, Felicia. Time I saw <laughs> Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. What do you reckon? Okay. That cutthroat. <laughs> not on your life. He is a witcher. Witcher or not, he'll be dead before. Alright. Okay. Oh, interesting. Is there a power? I just uh arg this sucker. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Ah. Ooh, feline silver sword. Holy crap. <laughs> uh excavations, I can uh a diary, excavations, excavation. Uh, so I don't believe in you, but if you do in fact exist, if you exist, save me. Alright. Scavenger hunt. Cat school gear. Alright, well, that wasn't the thing. Okay. Gotta be some mechanism that opens this door. All right, well, well, you look at here. Missing one tile. Oh, portals, get day. Now you're thinking of portals. Perfect hideout for an owl. Be a bit harder for me to move around. Uh. Portals, great. And the witch hunters probably messed with them. Works. Who would have thunk? All right. Uh, or what's over here? Wait. What is the symbol that I see on the ground? Oh, well, what is the little bunny rabbit symbol? The, well, it looks I feel like, like there's something. Is that a bunny? Oh. Oh, wait. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> It's fingers I thought were its little feet. Yeah. And the top of the glove I thought was ears and stuff. 
Oh my god. Yeah, what is it? Like... It's like something you can pick up, so I wonder, I don't know if there's something under it that you'll yeah, get I'm to, but yeah, see, it just pops up there, like, you can, okay, like, you can interact with it, because that comes up, oh, uh, like, when you burn the honeycomb. Yeah. Something like that, I, I remember that symbol popped up. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> this whole time, Petey. I thought that was like a sideways bunny rabbit. <laughs> my brain <laughs> just my never. <laughs> yeah. Right, oh, next. that's too funny. <laughs> this is an elf. Oh, how dumb. Okay. <laughs> uh, now we're thinking we're. I tell another weed joke, but. Neckers. There were like two good ones, and the rest are pretty bad. <laughs> or I've like told them before. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just rolled and then just fell out, fell down 500 feet. Oh, that's at least the third time yeah. since you've been playing this game that that happened. Though last week it was like, what, death by twisted ankle? Yeah. <laughs> it was the dumbest, smallest fall. Death by ACL tear. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Alright. Ah! <laughs> Oh, wait. Never Perfect hideout for an owl. Be a bit harder for me to move yeah, around. This is something. This time. Mm. Mm. Oh, I should use this more often. The running, sprinting, and jumping outside combat does not use stamina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dope. Yeah, that does seem pretty helpful. Time to end. Hey, what? Damn. What? Inactive. Maybe I can start it. Oh. Now. <laughs> All right. Uh, examine. Mm. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Uh. Use R to activate the. I activated the portal. Peekaboo. Stay back. Not one step closer. Sheathe that before you hurt yourself. <coughs> Wait, you, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. Yeah. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. Think Philip is still here? Can't rightly know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. 
If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. Alright, well. Alright, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. <laughs> I go. am a good little hunter. <laughs> ah! Alright, where, where does this go? Okay. Huh? Maybe no. I think that's the symbol for portals, maybe. I don't know. Oh, what? Just so that nice. you can interact with it. Yeah. It has to be what it is. That's weird. Alright. Interesting. Philippa dumped some woman for Deekstra. Uh. Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Okay. Where the heck was I supposed to put the... Maybe up ahead. Okay. Possibly. Okay. Uh... Okay, yeah. It's right here. Use ARG. Who's <laughs> Nice. Alright, buddy. Let's go. I'll just wait here. They'll come for me. Fine. seems like something exciting that we're gonna explore in a little bit so i think it's this is a, i just saved so this is a good spot for us to wrap up for the evening it is all getting a little bit late <laughs> okay yeah. i'm good with that yeah all right all right well transition being weird um yeah Another fantastic edition of the Witching Hours. Um, Daisy, w w what's your what's your takeaway of today? Stuff that happened today. Remember when it started with you helping Dandelion? Yeah. And then there was that whole like, I'm the Crimson Avenger. <laughs> 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 yeah, it feels like an age ago. <laughs> And then, and then, I remember those those two dudes uh, that you were trying to beat up with your your fisticuffs, yeah. but couldn't beat them up. Do you still have to go back and finish that? I don't know. That, you, that was part of the um, the the uh, halfling that owed people money, and that was okay. Uh, he was the one that we were getting the placards for from from. Okay, got it. Okay. And I just oh paid gosh. off his debt. <laughs> okay, good deal. Good deal. Yeah, and then there was like the whole serial killer plot. Priscilla got attacked and hurt real bad. We had to go like all the way to the Vagelbud estate. The craziness went down. The killer got away. Went on a total wild goose chase yeah. trying, trying to find his confession note. <laughs> Only to find out you had to find the body to trigger the note to appear. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, and then you started this new quest involving Philippa Eilhart, so yeah. 
lots of stuff happened. Yeah, lots of stuff. So it's exciting. And hey, Petey, I, I, I got another 420 joke for you. <laughs> yes. So you probably heard this one from me before because it's one of my favorites. Why is a roach clip called a roach clip? Why? Because pot holder was already taken. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, uh, thank you all for being with us. Uh, for for hanging out with the with the fun and silliness uh, as we go forward for more Witcher three, be sure to catch uh, the streams at Live at Rebelli TV on Twitch. Uh, I'm also going to try my best to get caught up on the vods on YouTube at Rebelli TV. Um, I've got a few to get through, um, but I'll try to prioritize uh, this because uh, uh, there's only a couple of episodes, but I'll try to get those up soon. Um, yeah, check out all the VODs, all the live streams, including our really fun uh, D&D show through the Tomes that we enjoy doing. We would love for people to check it out. Um, uh, Record Breakers, the long-standing music podcast, which is, is still, still uh, one of our favorite things. And check out all the things. Uh, be sure to also check out the uh, the drive we're doing all year long for uh, Spawn Together as part of a as something as part of a drive benefiting Able Gamers charity. Uh, you can use the QR code here or go to uh, hit uh, exclamation mark donate uh, the in the chat to check out the link. Um, for, uh, to to donate or go to yolo420.com slash donate um, and it b goes towards a really great uh, cause for accessibility in gaming so we can all game together um, yeah um, there's also some fun incentives and, and, and a poll for the Mass Effect playthrough which I'll get back to soon uh we'll see we'll see what we can do uh, this week uh um but i'll get back to that that's also a vod series i need to get back to but thank you for hanging out thank you for being with us uh like share subscribe follow do all things until next time hasta los huevos bye bye Bye. Fighting!